Hey guys, it is Lisa. I have kind of been MIA for a little bit. The beginning of May is pretty busy and I have had some uh, pretty bad days with my migraine. So I've been down a couple days with that. So due to the whole migraine thing, I'm going to do an acrylic pour. I just don't want to deal with the mask and the fumes and all that stuff right now. So I'm just going to do a acrylic pour and um, I am going to attempt the cloud pour. Uh, with the artist, or I'm gonna, I mixed Artist Loft and uh, Deco Art Satin Enamels together for the white that's going into the cup. I think I'm gonna do a ring pour. Um, but I'm just going to use um, Grumbacher's Prussian Blue, my favorite blue, in acrylic. Whoops. And Liquitex magenta. So this damn light. Ugh. Anyway, I think I'm gonna buy one of those ring lights. Um. So if anybody has one of them, they have like a ring light, and then they have like a a cell phone or a camera um, attachment in it. So. Thinking that'll give me more light because I'm kind of in a dungeon down here. So everything is totally um, uh, artificial. Artificial lighting. So, okay. So I'm just going to layer some cups or blah, blah, blah. Layer some paint in a cup. I'm going to put a white. Um, Actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm just going to put white around the flip cup, I think. Yeah. So let me start off by putting some... This is just a... Uh... Ah, look at there. I did not tape the back. Oh, crap. All right. Let me put you on hold. Just going to tape the back, and I will come right back. Okay, I'm back now. I have nothing prepped. I usually have a whole um, whole shelf full of like prepped for resin or pieces that are prepped for resin, prepped for acrylics. <coughs> but I don't. I'm going to have to spend a whole day just doing prepping, but like I said, I have not had much time or much energy. I um, did spray the back of my canvas also with um, some water, put the blow dryer on it so it's pretty tight. So, alright, let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. Sorry, my lovely husband gave me his cold, but it seems like I just got, I didn't get it as bad as him, which is odd. Okay, so, um, this in the cup is the Artist Loft and Deco Art Satin Enamel Mix. So I might have a couple bubbles because I did mix it just a little bit ago. I'm just going to put a little bit in the bottom there. This is my first time doing it, so I really don't know what um, 
what it's supposed to look like. I'm just going to go down the edge here. definitely going to have to torch bubbles. I probably should have let it stay or sit a little bit longer, but I've been going, ah, crap. Still got my green brain. Dang it. Bear with me, guys. And it's really not going to matter. I just don't want that big clunk. Clunk? Is clunk even a word? I don't think so. I think what I meant to say was clump. So, a little bit more of this white. more blue just laying it lightly so that it just kind of sits at the top I'm going to spill the whole thing paint. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Just going to use the rest out of this cup here. Sorry, I was out of frame. All right, I think this is about it. All right, so I really should just do a flip cup because it's the way my day's going, but it's probably just going to be flipped on accident anyway. But I wanted to do a ring pour. So I guess I'll attempt it, and then if it falls out of my hand, <laughs> then it falls out of my hand. All right. So this is regular white that I'm going to put around once I get the ring pour poured. All right. Uh, just a little bit more of this white, I think. Push them down there. If you squeeze it and press it, then it, it'll get like injected into the paint. All right, so I haven't done this before. I've done a ring pour, but not with the deck alert. All right. Actually, I think I'm going to do a straight pour. I should get some rings anyway. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I'm just going to do it. Just going to do it. Yeah, I can't really ring pour. I think I'm just going to do the straight pour. I probably have my cup in the way, so you probably can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll ring it here.
get my cup. <laughs> it's pretty. The cup will probably look better. Okay, now I'm just going to put some white around the edges. This is just regular Artist Loft white. Just so that the paint doesn't fold over itself. So this white does not have the deco art enamel in it. So that should be enough. Let me just get it along the edge here, right up to the rain pour. Not worried about the edges yet because they will get covered. But I just don't want any um, blank canvas because sometimes the paint will stop on hard canvas or uh, bald canvas. Is that the word? Just watch me paint. I'm screwing up my words. This is the reason, another reason I don't make videos when I have a headache. Because it really makes me sound stupid. I get in this thing where I call a brain fog. Alright, so apparently I'm not even. But we're in a tilt. All right, first I'm going to torch, then I'm going to tilt. Whoa, I get these bubbles out of the white mostly, but lots of those white baby cells popped up, which hopefully they won't take over. We're going to tilt. And we're going to see if we can get that cloud effect, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to already lose my ring pour effect. Hang on, I know you can't see, but I'm just trying to get it. kind of like that negative space at the top so I just want to pull that down until I get to the white and then bring it back Okay, we're just going to let it sit for a minute because I don't think, pretty sure I didn't do this right. I'm not seeing clouds. Hmm. I'm thinking I wonder if I was supposed to use on the whole canvas, but I don't think so. I'm thinking it would work, but I think
think I got too much here. So, I'm going to tilt. And I'm going to... Uh, tilt it off my negative space. And try to design some skins at the <laughs> okay so now that I got rid of the negative space I absolutely hate it uh, hate it hate it I say all right so we're just gonna just gonna try this again here real quick that and I think I'm just gonna do blue I'm just alternating the um, deco art and the Prussian blue so I'm going to do it from high up and see if it makes a difference. High up and fast. Again, cup, beautiful. <coughs> All right, so I'm not going to torch right now, but I am going to just swirl it. And I think I didn't use enough of the deco art. Oops. All right. So now I'm going to let it sit. And I'm thinking that the magenta that's underneath might pop up. It might. But I know that this type of pour um takes a little bit to develop so I just kind of wanted this right here to come down a bit <coughs> excuse me So I'm not sure if you're supposed to torch, but I think I have to because I do have bubbles in it. So I'll probably screw it up, but we'll see. Yeah, see, tons of bubbles. You know what? I think tomorrow I'll try it without it being freshly mixed. You know. Because I know that when you freshly mix a paint, you're supposed to let it sit for a day. I know that, and I still did it. Just because I wanted to paint, and I didn't want to deal with resin. So, we're going to let this sit. Yeah, we'll let it sit for a little bit and I'll come back to it in 15 minutes and see what it did. So, uh, 
Yeah, I'll see you back here shortly. See, I don't like those little itty bitty. You see those little itty bitty bitty white cells that pop up? Yeah, I don't like that. All right. So, hold on. We'll be right back. Okay. So, it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, the paint has shifted a little bit. But, I definitely did not get the... Did not get the cloud effect. I just got what I would call a background to something else. But, yeah, the magenta from the first layer is peeking through. I mean, so I mean that stuff's happening. And like cells with the blue and the purple. I mean, it's cool. It's just not what I was going for. So, I probably did the mix wrong with the deco art. Alright guys, so that's my acrylic pour, and uh, I hope you all have a fantastic night. hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day, and um, uh, there was something else I was going to tell you guys, I can't remember. But anyway, so um, this is my acrylic pour. I wouldn't call it a fail per se, but I would call it a fail as far as the cloud effect. Um, there's just a couple spots that I like. So who knows, I might end up just cutting this canvas up, just the spots that I like, and making jewelry with it, or Maybe I'll use it as a background and do like a uh, come on, help me out a um, string pull or something through it. I don't know. I might embellish it. I don't know what I'll do with it. But uh, yeah, so as I see back in the art room, it's been about a week and a half. And please uh, join us on our new Facebook group. It is um, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. And it's pretty fun. I did want to show you. I got some rhinestones. And... Look at how tiny those ones are. Yeah, so our Facebook group is uh, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. Come join us. It's been a lot of fun. Over there. And hopefully I'll be able to do a resin project or maybe I'll try this... Um, what is it called? <laughs> the ring pour with the cloud effect again. So, those are pretty yummy, huh? Anyway, okay guys, I will let you go and thanks for watching. See you soon, guys.